All right. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome again to News Express this Monday morning. Of course, exclusively brought to you by Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. Another beautiful week uh, to give you every single thing that I have right here on Business AM for the week. Now, top in the front page, ah, renewable Nigeria, Africa offer enormous opportunities in green growth as EU Africa Forum and yes we're going to get uh, the outcome of that particular meeting and how it went down uh, when I bring in uh, the publisher Business AM but then again uh, still in that headline recovery inherent in energy transition climate smart crops climate resilient infrastructure worth 230 billion dollars that that one's the very first headline on Business AM this morning and underneath that headline Nigeria once investors beautiful bride <laughs> losing global attraction that's not funny i just love you know how very poetic these headlines can be sometimes and yes that is the uh, the, the the truth of the matter right now just last week we we're talking about how Twitter decided to headquarter in Ghana. And as if that was not enough, we had Amazon, Hyundai, we had Kia looking to South Africa and Ghana after that very big, big move by Twitter. Well, on this headline, we have this one here. Oil majors also plan exit due to stringent operating environment. Is this something we're going to see continue in Nigeria? Are we going to keep losing big catches like this? Or will something be done? Oh, well, we'll wait and see. Uh, in the summary section, Africa's capital outflows put at $5 billion. And the finance and investment segment, external reserves come up for air. That's on page 10. Uh, company and business. So we have this one, Agbaje, driving GT Bank to 1.3 trillion naira. That's on page 26. Over to the insurance and business segment now. Insurers transforming digitally how? Uh, check it out on page 14 of the paper. And I'll move all the way to commodities and agriculture. Sesame seed export and exploitation. What's going on in that space? Well, catch that on page 20 of uh, Business AM this morning. We all have got the publisher Business AM, Philip Isakwa, joining me for conversations. Good morning, Mr. Philip. Good to have you on the show again. Good morning, Rachel. Good to be here as always. Mm. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How was your weekend? Very good, thank you. All good right. Sunshine. All right, yes, let's, let's start with the very first headline now, the EU-Africa Forum, which has ended. Tell us more about the outcome of that meeting. Okay, now uh, I think this has to do with uh, the attention that has been uh, uh, placed on, again, climate change situation, uh, uh, which, which uh, means that a lot of uh, attention is paying to green, green issues and uh, wanting... A... So, so we were talking about uh, this green movement and then EU, uh, Africa uh, com coming together, you know, the major, the major players in, in this direction, you mm -hmm. have... Uh, the, the African Development Bank and uh, the, the EU network, you know, meeting to discuss uh, a whole range of issues. You know, green, uh, Africa has always been believed, again, especially because uh, the African Development Bank has been pressing hard on it. It's said uh, with abundant uh, solar, wind, hydro, and uh, geothermal energy resources. You know, Africa's energy transition alone presents a $100 billion per year investment opportunities. You know, so that, that's a key with me additional speaking at the, at the forum, mm. you know, in, in Portugal. And I think they all co they're coming together and look at how uh, the pursuit of, 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 of um, the, uh, uh, green growth, uh, when we talk about green growth, we, we talk about climate change and how to prevent uh, the, the, the device. The, Setting effect of, of climate uh, uh, impact on on both uh, the, the uh, in the world on the world generally, but you know there have been for some time uh, a focus on Africa. You know uh, how Africa can can join you know in the global debate around uh, the, 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 this uh, of, of, around climate uh, uh, change. You know, so we look they are looking at Africa and seeing how they can help, you know. Uh, so they talk about climate resilient infrastructure, you know, what uh, 240, uh, 30 billion dollars, you know, and, and how all that can be energized, you know, to make make it a reality. 
So it's it's about pushing in the direction of of, of green growth, you know, and all the investments that are next that, that are required to make that possible, you know, and how the 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 the, 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 the funding can be can be sourced, you know. Uh, we, we talk about agriculture potentially offers massive investments, you know, in climate smart crops, you know. So so the, the, the EU and Africa uh, 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 top people came together, you know, to see how. Uh, funding is uh, particularly about funding. How funding can be driven in the direction, you know, of the green growth uh, 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 movement, you know, in, in Africa, particularly in the area of agriculture, but again in the area of energy, you know, and 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 uh, especially solar, you know, solar energy and wind energy, you know, all of which they say, you know, uh, uh, it's it's ab uh, abundant in Africa and how that can be done. It's about harnessing all of this, you know. But basically, it's ab also about how the funding can be can can be can be uh, uh, sourced, you know, to be able to to drive uh, the, the the investment that is required, you know, to make this uh, this possible. So that's what mm. the meeting was about, and uh, they, they, they they spoke on different areas and. This, they're seeing how they can come together to make this a, a reality for Africa. Right. All right, let's move to this other conversation. Now, I know we've talked about this before. I mean, the last time we spoke, it was a part mm. of our conversation. I mean, um, the, the Minister for Trade and Investment in Ghana has already come out to say, you know what, plans are currently underway um, by the automobile giant. We have Hyundai, we have mm. Care Motors. Mm -hmm. They're going to establish in Ghana. And mm. <laughs> we see all of these big companies looking away from Nigeria. And, of course, mm. there, are, there are media reports right now that several, multinational companies are seeking to exit Nigeria. What is happening mm. to this very big giant, this very big tech giant? And we have all these companies looking away at this point. What is the fate of Nigeria and the economic space? Rachel, we talked about this last week. You know, we, we, we scratched it on the surface. Mm. You know, we did not see Hyundai and Kia coming, coming, you know, almost immediately. You know, Amazon, Hyundai, uh, uh, Hyundai, they will call it uh, Kia, and 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 then after Twitter's move, mm. you know. Now, with looking at even oil majors, we understand that a uh, mobile is uh, downscaling the uh, 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 Shell. You know, has, of course, Shell left uh, a lot of uh, onshore investments a long time ago. You know, and uh, but it's particularly, uh, you know, what used to be. Uh, the, the expectation that was placed on Nigeria, you know, uh, representing, especially with the population, you know, especially with uh, the, the size of the economy, you know, being the biggest economy in Africa at mm. 450 or, or, or plus a billion dollars in size, you know, uh, with potential to even do much more than that. You know, it, it, a lot has always rested on the potential that uh, that Africa, sorry, that Nigeria holds, you know, not only in Africa but in the global space. You know, it's just that things have not worked out well. And uh, in the last uh, few years, you know, going five, six, or seven, eight years, you know, uh, it, it, things haven't really gelled properly. You know, I, I recall that uh, in 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 the in the early twenties, uh, you know, uh, so, so, so let's put it not even early, uh, mid twenties, twenty oh seven, twenty oh eight, you know, twenty oh nine, you know, the, the global uh, consulting firm McKinsey did did a big report, you know, uh, on on Africa rising, you know, and uh, and, and the focus on Nigeria was in the area of uh, of the the expanding middle class, mm. you know, it, it was that middle class that led to a, a, a big push you know a big focus on nigeria you know coming from different different parts of the world and people began to look looking at uh, and believe that uh, uh, things could happen here yeah. you know recall uh, uh, Rachel, that there was a big a big uh, push you know when they began to talk about the bricks you know the bricks uh, uh, you know nigeria was uh, was in the uh, not exactly in the bricks but the second one that that came up you know, uh, Nigeria was supposed to be among the BRICS anyway, yeah. you know, but somehow it did not manage to get in, but got into the second group that uh, uh, that, that came up that includes Turkey and, 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 and a few others like that, you know. But, you know, so this potential, you know, is what uh, people have seen globally, you know, and made Nigeria a beautiful bride to investors, you know, and 
we expected that to happen, but things have really, uh, uh, you know, gone 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 south, you know. And these people, uh, that international or global invest, uh, 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 businesses, are saying they still want to come to Africa. Africa is still a good place to mm. do business, you know. Uh, they described Africa is uh, Africa has been the virgin uh, 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 part of the world for investment, you know. So they are looking into coming. The population is huge, you know. But where do they cite? their operational uh, uh, base you know and that's where nigeria has been losing out because of the uh, different issues that uh, it has not been able to deal with now uh, of course these issues we, 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 we can look at security issues i told you uh, last time when we we're d discussing this matter that uh, the, even when you have some top security challenges you know some businesses still looking to go in if there are things to to be extracted but you also have to look at the regulatory part of it you know the behavior of government towards uh, investment, you know, uh, both locally, uh, what they do to, to local people. Uh, record, Rachel, this is where Gokara came in, yes. you know, <laughs> this is where, uh, you know, uh, Ope came in, hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, uh, they, everything was going smoothly, and then all of a sudden you had a, a, a tumbling of policies, you know, you know uh, lack of consultation, you know, with, with business. I've always said, Rachel, that. Uh, there, there seems to be a huge divide between uh, the, the, the public on the, I mean, public sector or government understanding and the, uh, of business, you know, and then the, 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 the private sector understanding of what should be done. Yes, you know, there yes. seems to be mutual between the two. They, they fight over nothing, you know, when they're supposed to collaborate and see how the, the economy can be expanded, you know, to accommodate quite a lot of things you know there are so many areas you know that haven't been scratched at all you know and you need international money to be able to to, to do this uh, effectively you know tourism hasn't been scratched at all of course to having security you know uh, that uh, that will that will hinder that you know but but they need to be focused on how do you get international and global investors to look into Nigeria without uh, having issues? You know, you you have all sorts of uh, uh, problems that you know that, are, that that have been created. You know, by 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 the way regulations are coming, the way the way you are not certain about so many things. You know, uh, uh, you, you you have those things need to be need, need, need to be tackled you know uh, you talk about ease of doing business if you look at the report the report uh, uh, actually uh, points to what uh, uh, international investors will look at you know and then decide that oh this is not a place to come to if if, if, if not uh, forever but at least at this time so if you look at uh, the world bank international ease of doing business report you will find that uh, we haven't really been doing doing really uh, great in that direction mm. but recall rachel that when government came this government came into to, to, to place it tried it tried to to do uh, to do something about it you know uh, there was uh, there, there were some some uh, uh, the quangos that were set up you know uh, you know to uh, especially with the former uh, trade and uh, 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 trade uh, uh, minister trade and investment minister mm. uh, like i recall you know did try to put some things together in terms of uh, uh, trying to uh, show up nigeria uh, sorry, Nigeria competitiveness, you know. So there's a competitiveness, a competitiveness council, you know, uh, that just came up and then uh, we, nothing has been heard of it, you know, as at now. Uh, recall that there was one one uh, uh, a smart woman in the office of uh, the vice president who was heading uh, that uh, competitiveness committee or council, you know. But nothing, nothing uh, is, has been heard of that committee up to now, mm. you know. So investors, international investors, of course, we'll be looking at this and be looking at uh, how the government is reacting, you know, how government is uh, responding to all sorts of issues, you know. Uh, you, you, you just have to be skeptical, you know, when, when you deal with, uh, with uh, the uh, when uh, 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 the economic environment is unstable. Yes. You know, that, that's really a worrying uh, factor for international investors, Indeed. and that's what's happening to Nigeria at the moment. All right, let's move into some other maybe good news, really. On page 12 of the paper, uh, talking about uh, the equities yes. market last week did um, uh -huh. well. We saw a bounce back in that space. Mm. And, uh, of course, uh, we owe it to, you know, the positive earnings releases that we saw as well. Aside this, is, is there anything else that, mm. you know, boosted the market? Yes, the, 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 the equities, uh, sorry, the... the, the 
uh, what's it called? The numbers are coming coming out. Uh, the earnings, uh, uh, quarterly earnings uh, mm -hmm. season is here. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, especially uh, coming from 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 the, the, the I think the likes of uh, uh, GT, the likes of uh, I think UBI or and, and the banking the banking sector. You yeah. know, have come up. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, but besides that, uh, is uh, what what you I think uh, a lot of things happening globally. You know, in terms of uh, the COVID situation you know looking more positive of course we have the, the bad case uh, happening in, in, in India at the moment you know but uh, there has been some uh, uh, what's called what's called a, a positive reaction you know to to, to the earnings uh, Fidelity Bank uh, MTN you know and, and and the rest of them you know who have come up uh, with their, their, their GT Bank Senate Bank you know who have come up with good numbers you know uh, so 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 uh, besides the, the, the uh, of course, investors will, will rea react and position themselves once uh, these releases are, uh, uh, are are coming out, you know. And uh, uh, of course, when you have this season coming up, that's majorly the the, 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 the how investors will, will, uh, will uh, I mean, they react, you know. And uh, the analysts are anticipating that uh, uh, this week will be bullish as well, you know, uh, as more of the results uh, uh, are coming, you know, and. Uh, uh, typically, investors just position themselves, you know, to be part of the uh, the, the what you call uh, uh, what you call dividend, uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, earnings that uh, will be will be uh, will be paid out, you know, in, at this time. Mm. All right. So, what's your what's your outlook for this week? Yeah, it's it's a, it's a bullish outlook, you know. Uh, this week, uh, it's looking uh, uh, bullish uh, from from what we are what what we are seeing uh, so far. Uh, uh, like they say, the market never sleeps. Is what uh, it, uh, someone uh, one analyst firm described it. Uh, described it, you know. Uh, 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 so so. Uh, you expect that uh, that it will it will it will be bullish, in, you know, in terms of uh, uh, more 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 results coming coming in, you know, this week. Okay. Uh, so so we we, we, we are, it's, it's a positive. It, it will be positive, you know. Mm. Uh, we talked about last week that uh, uh, it's a, there, there was a petering out, you know, uh, in the market, you know, uh, but with with the bounce back, uh, we expect it to. We, to, to continue, you know, uh, until the ending season, uh, uh, sorry, the ending season is over. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Philip, for dishing out all of this to us. We'll get back to you on Friday for um, the weekend um, edition of News Express. And welcome back to Nigeria, by the way. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> have care. a nice week. Bye, Bye for Bye-bye. That was Philippe Sapa, the publisher of Business AM, Nigeria's fastest growing financial and business newspaper. The Breakfast Connect continues in a moment. Stay here.